Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight I am making a, a fragrance that I've not used before. It is called Cinnanut Colombian Cafe. And the description said it is fresh roasted Colombian coffee, perfectly balanced with warm cinnamon to create this blend. Buttery roasted Brazil nuts and rich maple add texture to this gourmet delight. And it has 8% vanillin. So I know it's going to turn very dark, so I'm just going to kind of work with that. I have a black oxide pigment for an accent color as well as soft brown from TKB. I also have some organic coffee grounds. Now I brew these so that they and dry them out like on um, a paper towel so that it would soak up. If you, you can use fresh coffee, but it may bleed a little bit into your other soap. It doesn't harm it or anything, but I wanted to kind of get them dry. But this is great for exfoliation. So I'm going to add that to the base. I do have a little bit of titanium dioxide to add to the base to hopefully keep it a lighter brown. And my lye solution is half brewed coffee and half distilled water and then I added the lye so it's not full coffee and I don't know if you can see it's like a brownish color and I didn't want to use full coffee because I wanted hopefully for it to stay a little bit lighter brown in the base and I'll just texture the top a little bit and then I do have these little coffee bean embeds they're melt and pour and I just had a coffee bean mold and as you can see it looks like a little mini coffee bean and I will just sprinkle these on the top of the soap so let's get started I've already mixed in my kaolin clay and now I'm going to add this and so obviously you can see it's pretty dark Now, when you're making coffee soap, you really want to have your lye salute your coffee not hot. Um, because it warms up pretty quickly when you add the lye, so it's best to have kind of room temperature coffee and then add your lye. Go ahead and add my heavy cream. This smells so good. From what I've read, the coffee, using the coffee in your lye water or using full coffee does not, um, the fragrance of that doesn't necessarily come through in the soap. I think the lye kind of kills that and it will have a strange aroma when you mix the lye solution with the coffee. It doesn't smell very good, but that doesn't end up in the finished soap. Okay, so let's see, this is going to be my base, and this is warm. My lye solution was still a little bit warm, uh, but that's fine because I wasn't going to do any kind of crazy design. So one of these is going to be the black, and one of them is going to be, I'm actually going to get out my Swiss chocolate brown, I think, because I don't think the soft brown is going to do much to this. And this will be my base color, which I'm going to add the coffee grounds and titanium dioxide to. Actually, I'm going to use um, some uh, Turkish Mocha Brown Mica from uh, Wholesale Supplies Plus. And I'm going to add that to this one. This is what I made the coffee beans with. It has kind of a goldish shimmer to it. So a lot of fall soaps um, end up having vanillin in them, so you just got to kind of work with it the best you can. And I'm not a huge fan of dark soaps, but there's so many amazing fragrances that I think it's worth making them. So we're going to go ahead and blend this up.
back, I'm going to go ahead and cut my coffee soap. And as you can see, the inside swirls turned out so pretty. And you can see the little coffee grounds in there. So I did cut a few pieces off the other log and I just love it. I'm thinking that the base color might turn dark. Whoops. I have titanium dioxide in it, but I think it may darken a little bit because this did have a high amount of vanillin in it. And when I posted the picture, people were asking me if the coffee beans were real. Um, they are not. They are melt and pour. And as far as putting additives and things like that in my soap or real coffee beans, I don't really like to do that because then it, you know, can go down people's drains. And I just, if I can make it out of melon pour or pipe it, I would much rather do that. Not to say there's anything wrong with it. Um, like I do add, for example, the... Uh, little dried rosebuds to like my titanic soap which I haven't made in forever um, but those you know are they'll just kind of disintegrate and don't really cause a problem but every soaper does things differently and there's really no right or wrong way it's just personal preference Get up close so you can see the coffee grounds. I love this soap. I love the colors. It had been so long since I made soap. We have been so busy. My husband and I are starting another business. So we have been crazy busy with that. And we have completely hoed out our garage. When we moved in here, we really hadn't unpacked everything. And... We took time to do that and go through everything. I have a ton of craft supplies, so I went through all of that and deep cleaned our house, and I decorated for fall. That's a cute one. And it feels good. It feels so good to have things clean. I really, really like to be organized. I feel less less anxious when my everything is organized. So we've been very busy with that. And there's the last bar. Thanks so much guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video.